And what we're trying to do is give each puppet a little bit of character through a very simple mechanism. Um, so uh, uh, this is the rabbit. Um, uh, the rabbit sort of essentially needs to be one person sort of uh, hopping around on, on stage. Um, but um, it will have, you, you can't really see that, but there, there's going to be a little mouth moving under there. It brings lots of sort of signs and then it's got a little kind of little thing so that the ear can flick around as well. It will be two ear. Rabbit, obviously, <laughs> that's a parrot leg. Um, so actually, there's a lot going on inside this leg that you can't see. We're sort of constructing this a little bit like it's a hand. Um, essentially, it's going to be a little bit more arm-like than wing-like. So this is what we begin with. We sculpt a head uh, like this. Actually, we sculpt the whole head, and then we choose which side we prefer. We cut it in half. We we cover it with uh, masking tape. We draw a pattern. This is all the pattern pieces that will go into the into so the head. a flattened version of the 3D. We scan it in, blow it up, print it out. Uh, we we draw it all out in plaster oak on the sheet of plaster oak, cut it out and glue it together, and you you end up with this. So what then has to happen is that this has to go and attach. So follow me. So that uh, head will then go onto uh, onto here. So this is the um, this is the armature for the puppet. You can see the sort of profile. That's going to help hold the head in shape. When the puppeteer is in the costume, they should still be able to control the um, control the puppet. Um, 